Hello, this is Mr. Seymour, and uh, this video is going to be a short introduction to the course. You are taking Government 2305, which is Introduction to American Government, and your instructor is me, John Seymour. Uh, I'll tell you a little bit about myself. I taught in high school for 32 years, and uh, I've taught at the community college now for close to seven years. I've taught dual credit online and dual credit face-to-face -face and regular courses face-to-face -face at the college. My email address is jseymou1 at epcc.edu. That's how you can email me. Uh, in the uh, syllabus that, you're, that, that uh, is posted online, you should see that um, my uh, phone number is given to you for uh, my cell number if you need to text me please uh, try to make sure that uh, you understand that I may not get back to you right away it can take 24 hours to get a hold of me and have me get back to you but I will get back to you uh, the course description for the course you're taking this is one semester course and it surveys the basic concepts of American national government, theories of democracy, the structure and function of political institutions, contemporary issues and policies, things that are going on right now that affect you and I. And this course has a special emphasis on the United States Constitution, which we'll get into in the next chapter. After completing this class, there's some standard learning outcomes that you're expected to know. You should understand the importance of reading for background information, preparing for class using out of class time, and listening for pertinent class material as I present material to you with each of the learning videos that we'll do throughout the course. You should be able to express yourself verbally or in writing um, and you should have an understanding of vocabulary, political concepts, and political values as they pertain to the American political system. You should be able to express yourself verbally and in writing and uh, show an understanding of intellectual and political foundations of the American federal system. You should be able to express verbally or in writing an understanding of the major components and structures of, the, of the, our system of government, including the three branches of government, executive, legislative, and judiciary. And you should be able to describe processes that are used in order to govern. You should be able to express yourself verbally and in writing with an understanding of the political dynamics of parties, interest groups, and the bureaucracy, and the interaction of those institutions with American governmental structure. So this is talking about um, the factions or political parties and special interests that we see affecting government today. You should be able to express verbally and in writing an understanding of the political policies and outcomes based on the Bill of Rights, civil law, foreign and domestic policy, monetary policy, and public opinion. We'll cover all of these. Your textbook is called American Politics Today, Fifth Essentials Edition. It is Its authors are Bianco and Cannon, and I've given you the ISBN number in the uh, syllabus and if you look below you should see the cover of the book this is what your cover should look like if you don't see a book like this you may be using the wrong book Now some housekeeping. All work needs to be submitted in Blackboard. 
and you can either go to my.epcc.edu or uh, if you want to go directly to Blackboard, it's online.epcc.edu. Please use your EPCC email, that's your live.epcc.edu email to contact me and only send emails to my EPCC email, which is jseymou1 at epcc.edu. Better yet, use the Blackboard Messenger system, not the IM, but the Messenger system. Uh, send course messages to me and respond to any course messages I send to you. You can also contact me through the Blackboard Messaging system not the IM. Leave me a message and give me 24 hours to respond. Now, how will you be graded? You'll have a series of online simulations, how it works, you decide, and video quizzes. These are 20%. Current events and outside readings are 20%. Online discussion questions will be 15%. The interactive textbook quizzes that you'll take are 20%. The policy paper and final project is another 20%. Your final exam will count for 5%. That'll give you 100%. What are my expectations? First of all, remember that dual credit means you're taking a college level course for high school credit, not a high school course for college credit. So it's important to understand that you are in a college class. You need to treat the course syllabus as if it was your Bible. It is our contract, your contract between myself and, and you as individual students. As a college student, you are held to a higher standard of honesty and behavior. Plagiarism and cheating are not to be tolerated. Log into Blackboard regularly. Keep up with all your assigned reading on a weekly basis. Make sure you complete assignments and you upload them when they are due. Don't put the final paper off until the very end. It's worth 20% of your grade. If you're having difficulty or in need of course-related assistance, let me know. If it's Blackboard assistance, use the Blackboard, uh, the Blackboard help desk number that is given to you in your syllabus. Always use your EPCC email to contact me. J-S-E-Y-M-O-U-1 at epcc.edu. And that is the end of your brief introduction into the course.